Oh my god! I almost wrecked the cameraman! Velsy <laughs> Champion Guides! Hello, YouTube! Spaz is coming right at you and Planty, obviously. A bit hungover today, my voice is a bit. Mm, hello, Mr. Good. We're doing another guide. Finally, you guys have been asking for a S real guide, and I will deliver. Sorry, it's taken some time. It takes a lot of effort to actually edit these kind of guides, so you know, that is why. And S real is one of those champions that just takes a lot of skill to play, but it's very rewarding. So, why not do a guide? It makes perfect sense. Oh my god, Spaz, you're on the flow, man. You're on the flow. I don't even know what that means. Either way, we're gonna go through the runes, the mastery, the abilities, and everything you need to know how to play Ezreal like a boss. Let's start off with those abilities straight away, shall we? Well, as always, we are gonna start off with that passive, and it's called Rising Spell Force. Hitting a target with any of Ezreal's abilities increases its attack speed for 10% for 6 seconds, and this stacks up to 5 times. Now, this passive is one of the reasons some people do not like to build attack speed on Ezreal with items, and you know, that is okay, but we're gonna discuss what items to buy later in this video, so just stay tuned for that, but overall, a great passive. And then we have the Q, Mystic Shot. Ezreal fires a bolt of energy, dealing 35 to 115 physical damage on a 1 per attack damage scaling, and this little skill shot applies on hit effect which is great. Ezreal cooldowns are reduced by one second if Mystic Shot hits a target, which is also a nice little perk. Now this ability is Ezreal's main source of damage if you build him AD. Uh, it's on a great scaling, uh, it takes a bit of practice to uh, get the aiming right, and then it's gonna be your main focus if you want to master this character to get those Mystic Shots on the targets. Because when you do, it hurts like hell. Checking out the W, Essence Flux, Ezreal fires a wave of energy that deals 80 to 280 magic damage to all enemy champions it passes through. Affected ally champions Champions have their attack speed increased, and uh, effective enemy champions ha have their attack speed decreased by 20 to 40 percent for five seconds. Now that is obviously great for your bot lane if you want to play an AD bot, but it's also a little nice harass thing because this little beauty goes through minions, and you can actually hit the enemies when they don't expect it with it, and reduce her attack speed in order to deny them last hits or even just do some damage. Ah, that's jumpity jump jump giggity. <laughs> His E is called Arcane Shift. Elsewhere teleports to a nearby target location and fires a homing arrow at the nearest enemy unit, dealing seven. 75 to 275 magic damage. Now this is a utility spell. This is what you'll use to position yourself efficiently to land those mystic shots. You will also use this to get away when you're in pinches, and sometimes you will use it aggressively. But try and have the frame set of using this ability defensively, while still keeping in mind that when you use it offensively, there will be a little homing arrow shooting them in the face as well for some damage. Ezra's ultimate is called BANANA! <clears throat> no, it's called True Shot Barrage, but it looks like a huge banana and it deals damage, so it's all cool. Ezreal channels for one second to fire a barrage of missiles, dealing 350 to 650 magic damage to each unit it passes through. Uh, scales on one per attack damage, which is awesome, and it deals 8% less damage for each unit it hits. Mainly, people see this as a finisher, like if you see someone running away, you might be able to get them with your banana. But it's actually way more than that, it's a huge AoE ultimate that can deal a lot of damage to an entire team if they clumped up. Also, and most importantly, if if you hit an entire team with this ultimate, you will also set up your passive to get max stacks when the team fight begins. So that is obviously what you want to try and do. Grab one point in everything, but max your Q first on an ADS reel, uh, max your arcade shift your E after that in order to get the cooldown down, and your essence flux last. Now some would say that essence flux should be maxed second in order to get more damage out there and reduce the attack speed even more, however I do feel that the cooldown of the utility spell is way more important for my playstyle. You guys should obviously experiment with this and see what you find fitting. And of course, you always grab that ultimate whenever it's up. A quick look at the rune page and you'll see that I use my standard AD page with uh, flat physical damage marks and quints, uh, flat armor seals and magic resist glyphs. I do see a lot of people grabbing mana regen in order to spam away with his abilities, however I do feel that I really miss the armor if I do that. And really, you don't have to spam with Ezreal, you can use your abilities wisely and efficiently without spending all your mana. And late game I seldom find myself running out anyway. In terms of masteries, it's my same old, same old, my AD carry page with 2190. Grabbing veteran scars in the defensive tree and armor for some extra sustain in the lane, grabbing everything you need in the offensive tree. Again, here I could see that you could grab 9 in utility instead for some mana regen, but I really love that health phenomenon, man. I really do. Let's talk items. Now, obviously you want to start off with boots and pots if you don't have sustain, and if you do, you want to start off with the Doran's Plate usually. Uh, what I do is I grab one or two Doran's Plates, get those Berserker Greaves, and if you feel like you need the lifesteal, get a Vampire Scepter early. 
you will be getting that later anyway. Now a lot of people would pick up the Sheen, and I usually do as well, it's a good item, however I do feel like the Trinity Force actually don't offer me that good mid to late game damage, as for instance a BF Sword based item like the Bloodthirster would give me. And you will usually see this on a lot of pro players when they play him, uh, they will ignore the Sheen completely and the Trinity Force, uh, and just go for a BF Sword based item immediately. And you know, pros and cons here, with the Sheen you get a lot of early game damage, you get a lot of early game laning burst, and that is great, but with a BF Sword item you will get a v way more potent substantial damage in the mid game team fights. Also let's not forget that with the Sheen it's way more important that you land your mystic shots in order to do maximum damage. So all that being said I hope you can weigh the pros and cons against each other and maybe find the playstyle that you find more fitting. Um, so what do I build? What I find myself doing most of the time is I grab the Sheen because it's just so much fun to see that burst. Uh, <laughs> but then I'll build a BF item like the Bloodthirster, usually the Bloodthirster. And then I might upgrade it to Trinity Force later but that is again not something that is my main goal with the build. After my BF Sword item I usually get uh, either a Black Cleaver or a Last Whisper for the armor pen. Black Cleaver is awesome because you get the stacks from the procs of his abilities and you can get that full stack yeah, very very nicely. But Last Whisper again feels a bit more late game to me so you know it depends on what game I'm playing. Depending on the setup you might want to go completely hyper carry and go for a late game Infinity Edge for that extreme damage or you might want to invest in some defensive item. Guardian Angel of course very nice. Uh, you've got your uh, Quicksilver Sash if there's a lot of CC that you need to avoid. And you know personally I still think that the Banshee's Veil is a good defensive item. So there you have it that's the core build right there that I use. Now obviously items are situational, there is not a build that works for every single game, so try to experiment and find what you find most suiting for most situations. And, you know, always chug those potions late game if you need it. So let's take a look at some footage. The thing about Ezreal guys is that you really just need to practice him. Get out there, lose a couple of games, get the hang of him, get the feel of him. He really is a very different character to play in, in terms of skills. Like you really need to learn how to master the skill shots. For instance like here your standard combo should be that your arcane shift in range. Preferably like I did here behind the minion so you can hit your mystic shots and do enough damage. And practice really makes perfect. And of course you should also uh, try and wait for some CC to do the trick. Like here for instance Sona is gonna go in and put down her crescendo. I'm just gonna walk up and do all the damage I can and get a kill on Corky. The thing about ADS Rail is that if you don't hit those Mystic Shots, you will do significantly less damage. So you really want to use your E, your Arcane Shift, to land those Mystic Shots. And in order to do that, you need to use E smartly, just not, you know, in their face and oh, this is probably quite close range, I can probably hit him with Mystic Shot off this. No, you need to think a bit beyond that, uh, think where the minions are standing, think what's the targets that will be in your way, because remember, it doesn't go through uh, minions or targets like your Essence Flux. So really, try and master how to be smart with it, and that is really the key of being more successful than other AD carries. And also, Ezreal has very high chasing potential due to the fact that you can jump over walls, you can pursue them for a long time. But again, I really want to state the fact that Ezreal takes a lot of practice and you really want to get out there, lose a couple of games, not get, uh, you know, demoralized by the fact that you're not doing as much damage as you would on Graves, because Graves is very, very easy to master. The combo is simple and on Ezreal it's, it's more fine-tuned than that, but it's also so much more rewarding pulling off a nice kill on Ezreal and that's why I, I play him at least. To show how much early game damage you can pop out, here's a clip of Valistar engaging on Janna. She's getting extremely low, that shield is gonna shield that auto attack, she's gonna flash away, I'm gonna flash after, use a perfect Mystic shot there and getting the kill and that is just very very nice. Now here we are doing an actually a very good job, we're, we're backing off, we're uh, catching up with our minions, uh, we know that we have summoners, we know that we have heal, Grace is gonna overextend, Alistar dropping down his combo, punching him way into the minion wave, he's taking a lot of damage and also from a Mystic shot, dropping down the heal there was a bit unnecessary, but rather safe than sorry. If you're a bit new to League of Legends and you haven't really played a character like Ezreal before, there are two mechanics in game that I really recommend you experimenting with uh, that can help you be successful with him. One is not playing in locked camera mode. I really see a lot of people doing it and it's understandable because it's way easier to get a grasp of the game uh, if you're just starting off to play in locked camera mode. Try unlocking that camera because you are going to be flashing here and there all, all over the place and you are going to uh, pull off uh, quick and fast skill shots and you really can't do it if you have the locked camera. It really screws you over a lot. Also, try and experiment with uh, smart casting. If you haven't done that before, uh, you can actually set uh, a hotkey to doing it. Uh, I think the original is shift and the ability, so shift Q will make you just fire the projectile in that direction instead of you having to click twice. I do a combination of both. I sometimes use uh, normal casting, sometimes smart casting. For me, I have it uh, bound to Alt and the key. 
Uh, so Alt-Q will make a smart cast, a Mystic Shot, and Q will make an ordinary one. It's all about uh, playstyle there, of course, but I can really say that uh, smart casting has huge value on Ezreal, because you will need to perform those skill shots, like I say, very quickly and very swiftly, and smart casting really helps out with that. So try and experiment a bit with this. I believe in this clip we are gonna dive them. We have actually dinged our level 6, so Alistar has his ultimate. He's gonna go in, pop down the ultimate. I'm actually gonna miss my Mystic Shot there. Going for Janna, she's very low. Uh, using the auto attack, she's gonna flash away. I'm gonna flash after to secure that kill, and and move out the back way. Unfortunately, Alistar falls to Carter's ultimate. And here's the power of Essence Flux. Remember that it does decrease the attack speed. Grace thinks that he will able be able to win this fight, and I'm actually confident that I can take him on. He's gonna use his Quick Draw there to increase his attack speed, but it's not gonna be enough, and Jax is gonna come in, and he's gonna waste a flash. Did have my heal up there, so I could probably have been more aggressive and baited him, but yeah, he wasted a flash, so that's good. And that's the thing about Ezreal, like the early game damage that you can pull off, for instance here on Sivir, uh, is, is significant, and also that the fact that you can slow down the other AD carries attack speed uh, by a substantial amount is really strong and powerful. Uh, here for instance uh, we are going to see Grace and Janna moving in for Alistar, he is low HP and then they're going to turn to me and he's going to land his entire combo, bringing him in very low but after that since I've hit my essence flux on him there's really not much he can do and Alistar following that up with an exhaust just completely shut down his damage so after his initial burst he doesn't have much left and uh, that is just a very very powerful tool but it all comes down to can you hit the skill shot or not because if I wouldn't have hit it, hit it then that would have been a problem. And that's why Ezreal is so rewarding. Another very potent thing about him is that uh, his Q actually can reach quite far, and this makes you uh, very, very potent at zoning. Here at the turret, I can even poke down Corky low enough that I can go in and ignite him and pick up a kill under the turret uh, with the help of Sona there. And, you know, if you master the length and if you get down, the, if you get the feel down of, okay, I can, I can reach this far, uh, then you will be very strong in laning. And that all comes down to, again, Practice, practice, and practice. And remember, E is a good tool for defensive use, to getting away. And skill shots that are locked on, like this Maokai coming in here, uh, his Twitch to the advantage is actually gonna follow me, and he's gonna end up under the turret and take a turret hit. I could even have followed that up with Summoner's Flash, so he would have ended up way under the turret, but yeah, I didn't think that fast. And Maokai is gonna burn a flash, so that's cool. Now Vegar's gonna come in, support Vegar. Oh, evil, evil support Vegar. And he's gonna catch Arjana. Not gonna do enough damage, Monsoon is gonna go down, and Mundo is coming in now, so I'm gonna bait this fight. I have Summoner heal, so I know I can take the damage, and we actually don't didn't even need Mundo to finish off Maokai because he just didn't realize the damage. So you've seen how much burst you can potentially pull off early game, especially if you have support with uh, somewhat of a CC that can help you out to land those easy mystic shots. Um, and here's a little clip demonstrating what happens when you don't hit your skill shots, because Alistar is going to lurk in the brush there, he's going to go in when he gets the opportunity, there he goes, Pulverize goes down, and I just completely miss my, my mystic shot, and especially on this build since I have a Sheen, I have my BF sword, if I would have hit that mystic shot, that is some significant damage that we actually went missing now because I missed it. But when you do hit your skill shots, it's so rewarding. And here's a clip of something cool that you can pull off with Ezreal. I'm gonna use Mark and Shift of the Wall to completely surprise Janna. She's gonna try and monsoon me away, but that is not gonna help. I'm missing one Mystic Shot there, but I noticed that my cooldown are almost up. No, I need to Arc and Shift a bit closer, hitting that and a Q on max range, and that is just so rewarding. And that is why it's so fun to play Ezreal, because when you pull it off, it's just so much more rewarding than when you pull off a quick draw into a box shot on, on Graves, because, you know, that is easy mode. This little clip is interesting because it actually starts off very rough. I'm gonna go in with Arcane Shift there and uh, that's a bad Arcane Shift because I can't follow it up with a Mystic Shot, I actually missed it. So now Teemo's gonna put the hurt on my support and Janna is gonna slow her down and, and do all she can in order for Teemo to do the damage. I'm gonna tag them both with my Essence Flux though and now we are gonna have to turn around, we don't really have a choice. I'm gonna use my Summoner Heal on Soraka there and just put the major pain on uh, Teemo who is unlucky enough to be out of range on the Mansu there and that is gonna be a dead little Teemo and now I really wanna punish Janna for this. I am out of mana though. I I know that Soraka can give me mana, so I'm gonna go back in order for her to be in range, and there's the mana that I need, hitting a Mystic Shot. Now, I don't know why Janna is taking this route, I guess she's trying to juke this, but I'm just gonna go in with my Arcan Shift and pick up the double kill there, so great stuff! Finally, let's talk a bit about team fighting and positioning. Here, Alistar is gonna go around. We do believe we have enough damage to take on Graves here, but he's gonna put down a nice smoke bomb, so I can't really see anything here, and it's very annoying. I'm missing my Mystic Shots, and suddenly when I come out, uh-oh, here comes Nautilus, very scary. He's gonna go in, he's gonna pop down anything. Nice Monsoon from Janna getting me on the turret. But I'm just gonna kite away, I'm gonna try and get out of there. The exhaust on Graves was beautiful, keeping me quite he healthy, and I'm gonna uh, use my Summoner Heal. Keep running, just keep running. Arcane Shift this up, I'm gonna use it to get out of Nautilus. It's slow, beautiful. I'm gonna try and juke this Q, let's hope, yes, he misses this. 
I do a very weird mystic shot there. But here comes our team. Jack's coming in, going for Nautilus. Now I'm gonna try and abuse the fact that I have such a great length on my abilities that I can actually stand out of the fight on low HP, trying to heal up some minion. Here comes Carlos though, teleporting in, hungry for some blood. Our uh, Jax picks up the kill on Nautilus. Now they're gonna try and get away, and I'm gonna try and put the hurt on Carlos as much as I can without dying. He's gonna go for Jax, so I'm gonna go in and try and auto attack for damage and use my mystic shot, hitting that, and Essence Flux picking up the kill. Beautiful. And now uh, we have help from Renekton coming in to mop them up. I'm gonna use my banana and do some damage from afar before I recall. And there's gonna be a duel 2v1. Can he pull it off? He does have double buff. Is it gonna help him out? Ooh, can he get him? Ah, red buff. Too strong. So really, you want to try and be in best position, and it's extra crucial on Ezreal. Here we're taking a Baron, I am using my Essence Flux on my teammates to increase their attacks, it's very important that you do that. But here comes Blitzcrank, da -da 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 -da. gonna steal that Baron, very annoying, but we are gonna punish him for it. And I'm gonna try and get in a good position to actually do damage to Graves, which is the target I want to nuke down. Shivana here is gonna get caught by my team, I'm gonna Arcane Shift, but unfortunately Leona stands in front of them. A beautiful lineup, and I'm gonna use my uh, ultimate there, hitting all of them, very very nice, putting the pain on the rest of them now, and we can chase down Graves using my, missing that Q, oh unfortunately. It, but I do have Arcane Shift, I'm gonna get into position, and it's very important that you hit your Q if you're gonna chase, because that reduces the cooldowns, remember. And here comes um, our Ori, gonna hit that charm, beautiful, he's gonna cleanse though and keep running, but I can just pick up the kill with another Mystic Shot for the ace. So as you saw in that team fight, uh, I used my Arcane Shift very offensively, and um, usually you wanna have a defensive mindset of the use of that ability, if you know what I mean, because you will have to use it defensively most of the time, because uh, most team you face knows how to focus on the AD carry. Here we're doing another Baron, the team is coming in, they are hungry to do something here. I'm gonna line up on the inner wall and try to do as much damage to Baron as possible. But here they come, we're gonna see a lot of damage on Carter, so I'm gonna get suppressed. I'm gonna take a lot of damage from Fiora's ultimate, but I'm gonna Arcane Shift off the wall and, and use my <clears throat> Summoner Heal to just keep uh, stayed alive. And now I can just poke down Warwick from afar, and that is the beautiful thing with Ezreal. You can just, you got such long range on your abilities. As you see guys, we lost another Baron, um, but I think this clip demonstrates well how you can use Ezreal to your advantage. The Cartus. Cartus? Cartus. Cartus? Cartus. Cartonian justice. I don't know what that last clip was, but it's probably time for me to wrap this up. Uh, this has been my guide to Ezreal, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, add this to your favorites, and share it with your friend, because that really supports me in the making of these videos. If you don't want to miss any new guys or any gameplays coming out in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button to become a planty lover today. As most of you probably already know, I try to read and respond to all the comments. So if you have anything that you think I missed in this guide, if you want to let me know how you're doing on Ezreal since watching it, or if you just have anything on your mind, type it in the comment box below. And two last bit of advice for you when playing Ezreal. Practice, 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 don't get demoralized on the fact that you won't do so well the first matches. And number two, make sure you listen to this song while doing it. Now most DDs are just so cheesy Winning with them is way too easy Busting a rat with a spaz attack Now this one is about to be easy Link to the full song can be found in the description below That is all I've got for you guys I wish you all a great week And a happy, happy Sunday evening This has been Spazzy And I'm out Dudes